Why do runners get injured? I put together the exercises that will help you in the biggest way, avoid injury. Running is a stressful activity on your body. And if you don't take care of your body, you will not be able to continue to run at the frequency and intensity that you want. Stretching and strengthening, balance and foam rolling are crucial for you to feel better, to feel stronger, to feel more flexible. So here in this video, I go over the main focuses that will significantly benefit you in reducing your injury risk. You don't know what you don't know. And you might be unaware of the limitations in range of motion and strength. Although a physical therapy assessment would be the best way to find out what's going on, I put together the most common running limitations for the athletes that I've seen over the years and years. I put together the exercises that will help you in the biggest way avoid injury. Going through this routine will help you find out your limitations in range of motion and maybe strength. I put together two different views of each of the exercises to help show you as best as I know how, how to do the exercises. If you have questions on form, comment it below and I'll be able to reach out to you and help you with any kind of questions that you do have. For the balance activities, you're gonna do a tandem stance, a single leg balance, a single leg balance with your eyes closed. All these can be done three to four times with 10 to 30 seconds of balancing. Some simple hip strengthening exercises are going to be monster walks, deadlifts, squats, lunges, plank calf raises, single leg deadlifts, and step ups. As for the hip strengthening exercises, it depends if you're looking for endurance or strength, but monster walks, deadlifts, single leg deadlifts, squats, lunges, step ups, and plank with a calf raise. Are going to help you build up strength in the areas where you are weak. As for the strengthening exercises, you can do anywhere from five reps to 20 reps, depending on if you need more strength or you need more endurance in the muscles. Typically coming back from an injury or just getting into a strength training program, I like to do more repetitions and lighter weight and then progress to less repetitions and a higher weight. I typically like to put this into a circuit. If you see my other videos with swimming, and cycling workouts, I'll do a circuit of all of these. So either you can superset them and do lunges and deadlifts back to back to back to back for the amount of reps and rounds that you want to do, or you could do three or four exercises and then start at the top. So it could be a plank calf raise, squat, deadlift, lunges, and then back to the plank calf raise, squat, deadlift, lunges, so on and so forth for as many rounds as that you can do to build up that strength. If you would like a series on this kind of video, then like the video so that I know that you enjoy it and then I'll make more for the future. As for the stretching exercises, calf stretch with a knee bent and a knee straight are gonna stretch different areas of your calf. 
Pigeon stretch is gonna stretch a hip external rotators. A couch stretch is gonna help stretch your quads and your hip flexors. Hamstring stretch is for the hamstrings that are really tight. Foam rolling is also crucial. Foam rolling the calf, the lower calf, the quad, and the glute in a figure four stretch. For all stretching activities, three rounds of 30 seconds is minimum to see change in tissue. You're gonna need to do this one to two times a day, every day, to see a noticeable change in a short amount of time. Dynamic stretches are crucial for beginning a workout, and static stretching is gonna be really important for after a workout. As for foam rolling, I don't need you to do this for an hour a day. I typically have my athletes do this for one minute at each area that they need a foam roll. So if they're coming to me with quad tightness, I'll have them foam roll their quad for one minute on the left and one minute on the right. I know this is my left and then that is my right. Just test it. If you like this video, then click here for running tips to make you faster without changing your training.